Wow is all I can say. Lone Echo 2 is one of the most fantastic virtual reality games that I have ever played. In fact, it may very well be my favorite VR game of all time, from the engrossing story to the incredible character development, the mechanics, the way the game pulls you in and engrosses you in this world. It's utterly fantastic, and we're going to check out some gameplay here in just a second. This is a very story-heavy game, so I have minimal commentary, although there's some things here and there. I wanted the story to shine through and how the game plays, so please enjoy this gameplay playing through Airlink on the Quest 2. Thank you to Oculus for sending me this code to check out it early. Let's jump in and check out some Lone Echo 2 right now. All right, here we are inside of Lone Echo 2. We're jumping right into the story. We're going to go over there and talk to Liv in just a second and keep the story going. But uh, we're in space and we're in a, uh, a spaceship and there's a lot going on. Let's go ahead and check this out. Are you certain you want to see this again, Captain? Just pull it up. All this Whoa. orange you're seeing on the map, that's all biomass. That's how far it's spread. To date, the infection has consumed approximately 56% of the habitable solar system. The remnants of humankind are scattered across the solar system. But without any means to combat the spread of the biomass... It's only a matter of time. All those people. In truth, the initial death toll would likely have been higher had it not been for the captain of the Ithaca, who managed Wait. to... The Ithaca? The Ithaca was the flagship of the returning fleet. Ithaca? I've seen that name before. Hardly surprising. I remember it as well. I heard it when I was in the past. When you were what? Ah, uh, that's it. That's where I saw it. Yep. In your memory logs. Uh-huh. Jack. Are you suggesting that you traveled back in time? I know how it sounds. I'm not sure you do. <laughs> this is why your memory was so fragmented. In the control room. Because you... You went back in time. Dr. Harlan, you should really take a look at this. What part of not now do you not... understand? What? What is it? The torpedo appears to be undetonated. What's that supposed to mean? Where did you pull this image from? This is from one of Jack's recent memory logs. Recent memory logs? It's difficult to explain. Told you there's a lot of story in this game. <laughs> You're studying these weapons, these bio torpedoes. They're, they're not weapons so much as incubators. Uh oh. Dr. Harmon? I'm afraid we may have more pressing matters. General right. Energy reserves are dipping into the red. I suggest we table this conversation until we find a way to restore the station's generator. Perhaps there's something we can do. Alright, we're gonna get a new body. I have already identified a shell design I believe you'll find satisfactory. Awesome. It was originally meant for rapid emergency response. The base design includes enhanced speed and durability, awesome. as well as a data link compatible with the station's architecture. Where are we going? All right, let's do this. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I've already uploaded the shell's blueprints. It'll only take a moment to complete fabrication. Oh, and then it's going to transfer me. Isn't that familiar? I've already adjusted <laughs> the shell's underlying design to account for the particulars of Jack's neural matrix. Okay, thank you. All you'll need to do is shut yourself down so I can transfer your processes to the new shell. Oh, that's all, is it? <laughs> Don't worry, Captain. <laughs> the transfer will be seamless. I hope so. It's probably going to transfer me back to the past again. How much you want to bet? Sorry about this, Liv. I'm probably going to be gone for a little Construction while. Construction complete. The new Ooh, shell that's is cool looking. transfer. It looks like him. Yes. I incorporated Jack's existing facial structure into the shell's design. Cool. I thought it might help distinguish him. He is quite distinguished. Yeah. You're clear to initiate the shutdown procedure whenever you're ready. All right, let's do it. Shields at 30%. Initialize neural matrix transfer. Verify hardware connection. Okay. Welcome back to the real world, Jack. Before you go, I'd like to make use of your new data link. Captain Rhodes? Right. What is this? 
A data tile left behind by one of the station's scientists. I'd like to see if your scanner can access the information stored inside. All right, well, you heard the lady. Go on and give it a scan. Ah, interesting. What was on it? Research notes on the biomass. Anything useful? A list of genetic markers shared between the different biomass forms. That could prove most useful. All right. Do you read? Now it's time to go outside. I need you back here to help me pass the FTL's output data. And bring Captain Rhodes with you. I could use her insight as well. Get him out of the airlock and then get up here. You weren't exaggerating. This Dr. Harlan is quite irritable. <laughs> Try not to be too hard on him. He has good reason. It sounds like there's something I should know. Through now? Tell him. Tell me what? Dr. Harlan is... Infected. Oh, that's not good. Infected with what? With the biomass, of course. Let's head outside. Gotta head out into outer space. We'll be back in a little bit. Ready to depart. Hard Ready to cycle. Oh, wait a second, Juno. Yeah, oh, wow. Jack, listen. There's something else. Captain Rhodes, maybe now isn't the best time. I'm not about to send him out there with only half the story. Liv, what is it? If we do that, all our problems are solved. Technically not all of them. <laughs> You'll still be stuck in the wrong time. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Juno. Get to the generator. Depressurization complete. Yeah, be careful out Exiting here. Exiting airlock. How do I reach the generator? The generator facility should be just up ahead as you exit. Copy that. Generator facility. They, uh, this resonance. The FTL shouldn't be creating a displacement with this signature and nowhere near this magnitude. Then it's the biomass. Has to be. It's causing some sort of reaction in the drive. We'll need to run some simulations. Let's get to it then. Jack, we'll be on standby. All right, Acknowledged. I'm here. I've located the entrance. Unfortunately, it seems the airlock is offline, most likely due to the power failure. An alternate access method will be oh, required. Oh, great. Okay. Does that mean there's another way in? Station blueprints show an access hatch on the facility's exterior. Okay. Look for a small rectangular hatch with a red cover. Copy that. I'll take a look outside. All right. Wow, look at this. That's crazy. Access hatch located. Looks like I'll have to cut my way in. With the generator's interior in a vacuum state, it should be safe to use your cutter here. Okay. Explosive decompression will not be an issue. Copy that. I love the, uh, the tools in this game. It's just so awesome. There we go. Let's open up this hatch. Push it off into space. Let's turn this off. Oops. Repair generator. Okay. Turn that off. Let's go up in here. There we go. I'm inside the facility. What's next? The main problem is almost certainly the reactor. It's a large cylindrical structure in the facility's central chamber. Okay. The access way will take you there, though additional cutting may be required. Okay. But okay. Please, Try to avoid damaging our former workplace too heavily. <laughs> Wait, you two used to work here? I... Captain, please. We have work to do. Told you, this is a very story-heavy game. Not in a bad way, either. But it doesn't leave a lot of time for me to talk. That's okay, though, because you're getting the best stuff here. Alright, we're inside. Let's see what's going on with this thing. The reactor is completely shut down. It appears as if there was an internal malfunction. That explains the power outage. There's a casing right and there. And the life support failure. Right, better open it up, Jack. See what's going on in there. Let's get this thing cut open, shall we? Let's see what's in here. Should be an emergency release, I think, for this door. All right. Oh, 
Oops, pull myself forward. <laughs> oh, look, there's a fabricator. Usually that means that I can die. Excellent. There. That did indeed provide sufficient data. Good. Just give me a moment to process everything. Stand by. Turn off my light really quick. Schematic complete. Please head to the nearest fabricator so we can install the improvement to your cutter. Perfect. Let's do it. Reprint. All right, here we go. Successful. Your shell's reactive cutter has been refitted with extended range and efficiency. Nice. Well done, Juno. The pleasure was mine. And please, restrict cutting to non-critical equipment. <laughs> okay. That's an emergency release. I don't need that anymore. But I know what I need to do now, though. I need to go over here and cut open that door, I bet you. I bet you I can cut it from here now. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Yep. Can I? That's that. Gotcha. Ah, uh, got to it. Open the hatch leading to the awesome. storage area. Splendid. The area should now be accessible through the maintenance deck below. There we go. Now we can go down. That was the reasoning behind it. There we go. Captain, I finished compiling the log data you requested. Gotcha. Put the core in. There we go. Excellent. There we go. Spin this sucker in place. Second core installed. There we go. Acknowledged. Please visit one of the nearby consoles to bring the reactor back online. Okay, I can do that. Oops, almost went flying. <laughs> Power on. Come on, you can come back online. You can do it. Something's gonna go wrong. I can feel it. The reactor oh, is back. There on we line. did it. There. Oh. Jack, power still needs to be distributed from here to the ship, as well as the rest of the station. All right, let's pull this lever here. Distribution control. There we go. That should bring power. Power grid stabilized. Life support systems optimal. Awesome. Well done, Jack. We must try it again. Ah, we gotta try jumping again. Send Jack back in time again. You've gotta be kidding me. It's the only way. <laughs> Lies with finding an undetonated torpedo. All we right. must send the android back. Let's do the biomass I'll samples. Our biomass samples first. Though no longer operational, there is a tram line leading from the central transit hub out to the research facility. Understood. All right, we've got to make our way. Where? Where are we going? Over there. Okay. Somehow we got to get down there over to that area over there to the research facility. So let's head to the research facility. Oh, crap. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, boy. I wonder if there's biomass all around. Hopefully we don't meet any biomass. Biomass is disturbing. Oh, there's a lot of biomass in here. Jeez. I better go slow through here. Biomass has taken hold here. Given that it got this far, the Oh, there's a person the there. The be much worse. <sighs> Will the fabricator still be operational? Yes, at least enough that Jack should be able to reboot without issue. That's disturbing. In the security control room, I found a casualty. According to logs, Adler Reyes. He must have been trying to keep the scanners running. That's disturbing. They would have had to remain behind. Unfortunately, even the scanning room itself became contaminated. Do you hear that? Most likely. That's disturbing sounding, isn't it? Here we go. What's in here? 
main lobby area. Jack, you are now entering the facility's lobby. Biomass containment is located through the leftmost door. Okay. Oh, shoot. This must be the evolved biomass form Dr. Harlan mentioned. Oh, about that way. Presence, much like the other specimens encountered thus far. We classify it as a reticulated bee biomass organism, but most people just call them webs. Webs, okay. Aside from their namesake membrane, webs can also be recognized by an additional nodule. What? It should be quite distinct. Yeah, all oh, right there, okay. Can I turn the power on with that, I wonder? This switch controls power for this hallway. An emergency disconnect. Likely utilized as a means to curtail the outbreak. They really did all they could to try and get the infestation under control. They knew once it was out there. Couldn't stop it. All they could do was buy time for Oh boy, look how much is over there. Biomass at the exit neutralized. It's possible I failed to foresee some of the Oh crap. I'm screwed. Nuts. <laughs> I accidentally grabbed that too early. What is involved? I'll need you to retrieve the data from one of the medtech shells here. Okay. With that, I should be able to reconstruct the portable locomotor's design. Copy that. I'll see what I can find. Let's see if I can do this. Ready? There we go. Let's go through here. There we go. That's what I needed to do. There. Okay. Gotcha. All right, what do we need? Wait, right there, what's that? A keypad for the duct. It may provide a means to circumvent some of this biomass. If I can find the code. All right, I need to find the code somewhere. Where is it? All right. What's over here? Anything in here? I don't see anything in here. Access to the utility ducts granted. Oh boy, look at all of this biomass. Jeez. Moving through the vents now. You gotta be very Stop careful. How long does it take? What? For the infection to run its course. Once it becomes fully active. Usually some Holy, that's quick. Opt to expedite the hit. Right. Sad. All right, Unit 5, back to the lab. The director wants to run those simulations again. Very For what purpose? I'm not sure. Dr. Harlan's ideas were intriguing, to say the least, but, uh, well, I suppose the director knows best. Go ahead and prep the simulations. I'll join you shortly. Acknowledge. Dr. McKenna. Huh. So the director eventually explored your theories after all? I... didn't expect she would continue it after I left. But without the biomass's base genetic material, it would have been as much of a dead end as I just all right. couldn't convince her. Okay, there's something right there. We're making our way through this. Freaking creepy place. <laughs> My reconstruction of the personal cloak emitter is nearly complete. Good. One more scan should be sufficient. Okay, one more scan. Where am I supposed to find one more? Alright, let's go to this place. Let's get our cloak emitter.
there you go, there is some gameplay for Lone Echo 2 running from my PC through Air Link to my Quest 2. This was a fantastic experience and it's available right now on the Oculus Store for $39.99. Now remember this small portion you saw right here was a condensed edit of maybe an hour, hour and a half worth of the gameplay, which is one ninth or one tenth of the actual game. And what you saw was only 20 minutes edited down. There's a lot more going on there as well. This game really has a very in-depth story, really good character development, and just overall was a, an amazing experience. What about you? Are you gonna check out Lone Echo 2? Let me know down in the comments if you've played the first one and if you plan on checking out the second one sometime soon. If you wanna get the most out of your quest and your quest, you don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there and the bell icon for notifications notifications, and you can check out more of my videos right over there. Thanks so much for watching, stay safe, and happy questing.